Well, guys, there's a hurricane that is about to enter the Miami Beach Convention Center. I'm from Montana here, guys, and we're doing it again, my friends. The Boat Show 2023. Are you guys ready or what? Let's get it. All right, uh, as you guys know the procedure, my name is Alfred Montaner. I'm 6'5", 225, and extremely ripped, first of all. And uh, we're gonna walk the entire show. It's gonna be a long video, guys, so get yourself a cocktail. And uh, I don't know, wait for it. This is nice. Um, we got fishing rods everywhere. Oh my goodness, this is so wild. Oh yeah, so typically I'm actually starting in reverse so you guys know what's going on here. We're, we're starting in reverse as opposed to where you begin. Normally you would begin in the entrance which is outside and we'll eventually end outside. You guys got booths everywhere guys. This is a local place that I actually buy my stuff. I was there the other day, El Capitan. I go to the one down south. But I want to see, okay, look, let me see if they have the lure that I, that, okay, so Yazuri, those are vents. Guys, they have everything here. You want an American flag hat? Look, Colombia. Wait for it, guys. Oh, you know who's here too? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, we're going to go to the boats right now. I told you, this is going to be a long video. So I do these unscripted and unedited. So I don't know. If I get punched to the throat and I start coughing a little bit, just give bear with me. I'm still gonna keep it on. You might hear me cry, but I don't know. The question is, will I have enough energy to make it to the end, my friends? All right, we're gonna go over there, but I wanted to buy a hat over here at a Excuse me. I'll do two for seven. Oh, what's up? Can I get my red, my pink hat? Yes, you can. Oh, yes, guys. Guys, black tip H. Here you go, sir. All right, Jake is over there. Hey. Prayers for uh, Josh, guys. Josh, uh, Josh from black tip H. He's been uh, fighting cancer, and uh, we got to pray for him. And I, I'm going to give this hat out, okay? To... Uh, to the very first comment in this video. All right, I'm gonna give it out to the very first comment. So, I can see guys, I can see who was the first person to, to make a comment, right? Now the question is, how do I hold this? All right, let's go to where the boats are. It's the very first day of the show guys, so it's not going to be as busy and I kind of want to do this on a day that it's not so busy. Welcome to the boat show, my friends. Wow. Ah, let's see what we have. We have, I don't know. Oh yeah, we got fountain right here. We got cigarette over there in the corner. We got midnight express in the corner. Aviera, Solara, Chaparral, Sea Ray. Guys, it's gonna be a long show. Sit back, relax, and uh, wait for it. Oh my goodness, so I think I'm gonna do what I kinda did last year. We're gonna go hook to the left. Guys, this is basically I'm trying to get you guys here to the show so you guys can visually see the boats that are here. I can't really walk all the boats, but whatever we can get into, we, we will try to show somewhat as we're doing this video. So, all right, I'm tired, guys, I give up. That's it. I wanna go sit down in the corner and cry. All right, I'm just kidding, come on, let's go. There's no crying in boat shows. Guys, remember that video? Hey, if you guys don't know, I'm the host of the Chit Show, by the way. If you don't watch my boat ramp stuff, you guys are really missing out. Oh, 
Oh, they have no idea that the, the hurricane is inside the building. There's a hurricane inside the building! Look at this, man. This, this fountain is amazing, dude. Wow. You got a better view of it while we were out there. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Absolute beauty, dude. Um, if you guys know anything about fountain, they're fast. And uh, not just fast. I mean, sexy and fast is always nice. But let's go see what we've got over here. Oh, no. We got Axopar. What do you guys think, huh? Man, boy, can we get... I don't even think we can get up there. There's so many. Look at... This is the first day, guys. This is the first day. And if you guys don't know, I just put a bunch of footage. Similar video in the Seattle Boat Show. So you guys can see the differences. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got, we got a window. We got a window. Oh, boy. I'm not going in, guys. I'm not going in. I, don't, I can't take off my shoes. But... Wow, this thing is pretty, dude. This thing is pretty. My goodness. Fountain. Guys, we're going to have to come back. Absolutely do a dedicated walkthrough on these. Um, look at this. Complete different. It's like a 180, right? Complete different boat. Stick around here at the show. Excuse me, Mr. Beast never called me, man. He never called, he never called me, man. <laughs> He's too busy shooting for the uh, Super Bowl commercial, I guess. <laughs> hey, you, you call him up, you text him, listen. Hey, the Chicho guy's hunting you. Oh, yeah? My next stop is North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, I'm going to catch you later. What a beautiful boat, dude. All right, man, take care, guys. So he, was, he, he grew up uh, with Mr. Beast, which is the biggest creator by far in all of YouTube with the most views. And, Axel Parr in the Casa. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Am I am I even recording? Yeah, I'm recording. I thought I wasn't recording. That would have been a waste of my energy. I haven't seen this boat. Smaller? I don't know, guys. For some reason, I still have aluminum. Uh, I got aluminum on my mind because I just came from the Seattle Boat Show and it's all Pacific Northwest boats, pilot house boats. And you guys like this? So listen, I'm gonna try to do dedicated walkthrough videos of a lot of these boats that are here at the show. I don't know which ones yet because that just, what's up, what's going on, man? It evolves as it's, hap as it's happening. So. All right. Wow. Mark Morgan is telling me, go to formula, go to formula. But I want to go over here to regulator. Come on, Mark, give me a break, bro. Give me a break. Mark Morgan from Oklahoma. Who else is going to represent a Chicho hat? Speaking about Chicho hats, I'm actually wearing one right now. And uh, it's got the Florida flag on it, guys. I have them with the American flag and, and the Florida flag. So. The good old MTI. What do you guys think, huh? One, two, three, four, five. Get your three-year-old and show them how to count, guys. This is a good, good experience. Oh my. And we've done, guys, we've done multiple walkthroughs here at the shows. MTI with Taylor. I've actually done a sea trial on this particular boat and wow, what a monster. I don't think I have that laying around. Oh my, my. Well, look at this. Wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, I'm Bill in the water you, from the boat show. Hey, What's going on? I'm doing a running gun. I'll see you later. All right, guys, that's Bill on the water. And he represents the boat show. Okay. I am filming right now. Okay. Hey, what's up? Larry Boat Show. <laughs> I got a buddy that watches you all the time. Oh, He's yeah. always sending me videos, so I gotta get a of, of the chicho. Let's go, let's of do it. Chicho. Come on. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here you go. Running gun, baby. Hey, hey take care. Good to see you guys. 
All right, guys, over here. Oh, it's, it's, it's Miami heaven. It's Miami heaven. All right. Guys, Miami heaven from TikTok and Taylor. All right, guys, if you guys don't know, check him out on TikTok. And he films also out of Hallover. He had a big controversy over there in Hallover. Hallover, actually, ah, it's a long story. We won't even talk about it, but. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm gonna come back while I'm live as well. Okay, perfect. Are you, are you cheating on me? Are you cheating on me? Are both of you guys cheating on me? Yo, 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 Alfred, Alfred, yeah, got it. Oh, I need it to get. I need. I need it to. Uh, we, we, I'm. I'm doing a full video, so be careful what I'm you say. I, I know. Hey, my, my life is live you, anyway. How you been? Um, Good. Are you coming back or not? Because I, I, I wanted to do the Prince of Hallover because I'm there every single day uh, now. Uh, okay. Because you were the king. But okay. if you're not uh, coming, uh, I want to be the king. Okay, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that. Okay. I'm gonna talk to you live later. Because look who I'm working with. Oh yes, nice. Yeah, yeah, Congrats. yeah. He does all the editing because he's good. Wheel, right? Good. Right? And I do the fifth filming. But he does Sorry, I anyway. put the camera on your oh, face. You're good. Famous you're good. Alfred. You know how many people ask me? Are, are, they, are you live right now? Nope. Because you're well, like, you're, you're, you're. I'm going to go live. This is a film and that's editing. No. All right, listen. Do you got okay, anything? Thank you. You got anything really new? Nice to see you. I got engaged. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, no. That's it. Hold on, guys. Wait for it. That's it. That's it. You just ruined the whole video, Taylor. <laughs> Why'd you do that? What, what, do you, what superstars do you see that they say, hey, I'm, I'm unavailable now? <laughs> they, they're supposedly all always available. <sighs> so congrats. Thank you. Um, I kind of miss the boats in the water. I really do. I know, me too. I miss them in the water. Do I'm you have- pants in Miami and a sweater. This doesn't feel right. I feel like I should be in shorts and a dock. Yes. But. So what do you got going on? Well, I saw- Got the brand new 44 here. Is this so, brand, 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 brand new? Brand new. Out the box? It's been in the water one time, just to be tested. So it's got the brand new 400s, those were released yesterday. So okay. these are Mercury Racing 400s. Okay. So different from the 400s they released in November from Mother Mercury. So, super exciting. Um, they released them as part of their 50th anniversary celebration, which mm -hmm. starts this year. And it's also our 25th anniversary this year. So, very special nice. year for us. Um, so yeah, the 44 with the 400s, this is the first time we've ever done this package. And then right behind it, we have our 50 with Quint 400s, also the same first time we've ever done that. Can package. I peek in there real yeah, quick absolutely. and see it? Guys, I'm here with Taylor. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I put you on the spot. Oh my gosh, you're good. I, I know, and, and you know, I know, I know him, <laughs> right? And I know, so I, I, I gotta get caught up with a lot of people. So, you know, this is one of my long, long videos that I just don't turn off the camera and right. I'm just going to everyone. That's great. Okay, so amazingness as always. Look at this. This is the shot right here, right there. Okay, hide the wedding ring. Uh, <laughs> you messed it up, Taylor. I'm sure you're excited. I'm, uh, congratulations. Okay, so uh, for the testing that you've done so far, yes. how, how, um, how are we looking? Awesome. Really? 120 mile an hour boat. Only, right. Like 120, that's crazy. Yeah, for a 44 foot boat with two 400s, it's pretty epic. I, I said only sarcastically. <laughs> I hope you know that, guys. You know, Taylor's the one that says, oh yeah, uh, just whenever you want, we'll go down uh, Stiltsville, you know, going 100 and something. I was like, nah, I'll pass. <laughs> and we went to Hallover instead. We've got updated back seats right here. So they redid the back seats a little bit, have the larger headrest. Just some more nice support for the people in the back. Very, very spacious. Oh my goodness. And then the 50 here. Yes, we got this gorgeous 50. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Since I'm running and gunning, mm -hmm. I want to do a dedicated walkthrough of the 50 when okay. we can so we can show the, yeah. the thing. And, and then, do you have anything else? Because I know there's always something, something else, something else, else, else that you right want to tease. This is the something else. The 44 is our, our big thing. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what our, our big exciting thing for our 25th year is for right now. And we've got our 39 here, our 42 with the most gorgeous paint job ever. It's pretty insane. It was uh, painted, I believe, by Visual Imagination. Mm -hmm. It's full carbon fiber, all hand airbrush, every single square on it. You got to get a close up of that later on. It's all right, pretty sick. guys, Taylor and TI, get ready. Congrats. <laughs> you just ruined the whole video. You know that, right? <laughs> Tell him congratulations. All right, guys. Wait for it. 
and this is the paint job that she was saying um, which is absolutely sick it is guys absolutely sick let's go see what we got going on here carbon addition yeah I think this is I think this would qualify as sick what do you guys think yeah I think this qualifies as sick oh my goodness wow what details dude this is absolutely crazy oh oh my goodness I just want to cry look at this guys look at that it's everywhere it's even on the engines all right so if you guys don't know MTI they have their own events and they also participate with uh, uh, Stu Jones and the Florida Powerboat Club and they go to Gilbert's and they go to all these places in the Keys um, and you see these boats there on the water amazing nothing against the smaller 37 we're going to give it some love as well but wow this thing is absolutely gorgeous let's continue the walk all right guys that was MTI we have oh man we got the cigarette booth cigarette in the house and we got an Aurora's here what do we got here it looks like a Nighthawk in the back oh yeah hold on no shoes guys no shoes but we're not gonna take off our shoes we don't have to go inside what do you guys think absolute cigarette oh my goodness is this look at that it's all carbon fiber the whole that whole console is carbon fiber guys what do you guys think huh smash i like for a cigarette now i think i i think they're almost done with the, the I, I don't even want to call it a jet ski right they've been doing a lot of stuff with their merch oh no i hope the music doesn't become a problem for the video but we'll find out later the nighthawk over here this is an amazing boat guys i really really like this boat um 41 nighthawk guys here at the show yeah absolute beauty all right guys since i can't go in we're gonna go and we're gonna walk we're gonna head to can we get out of here we can't and what do we bump bump into wait a second it's north tech in the casa Nortec. Let's see what we got in Nortec, guys. I think it should be all right. How do I get into Nortec? Is it closed off? Oh, it's the other side. I'm going to have to go in through the other side, guys. Oh my my guys look look at this picture bro this is like a <laughs> this is literally gonna be the thumbnail I mean come on how could this not be the thumbnail oh my goodness I feel sick to my stomach I want to cry midnight express oh boy get ready some people are gonna get uncomfortable real quick real quick let's see oh he's right there too He's welcoming the people on the boat. Can I can I can I have that for a second on the side? Just just hold it there, please, thank you. Oh no! He ran from us guys. I think he saw us. I think he saw us. But um I don't know. For some reason, something tells me these two are not linked. I don't know. Do you think that? Nah, I don't think so. The color's too perfect. Um, do you know where the keys to this car is? In my pocket. Oh, well, <laughs> and I'm sure you got the keys to the boat too. <laughs> Come on, Eric. What do you? 
What is this sickness here at the Miami Boat Show? Is this, this is, a, this is a mental illness. What is, how can you do this, dude? You guys always just come out with some incredible, crazy things. What boat is this, 43? 43 Solstice. I like this boat a lot. I like to be here. Yeah, but I, I want it with a car. No problem, we'll work it out. We, we're gonna work it out? Sure. Hey, what if what if somebody beats me to the punch? I gotta be careful when I edit this video. Maybe they might get the cash before me. You better hurry up. All know. right. So, is uh, the world famous uh, Leslie around later so I can bug her? She's over there. Oh, she's on the red one. I'm gonna go ahead and attack her. We're gonna do some dedicated walkthroughs of these boats. Anything in the uh, equation that we're expecting? Anything new later? Or you don't want to talk about that either? I mean, yeah, of course. I'm always gonna say but, but here's the thing. You want to tell me everything and Leslie goes, no. <laughs> so, so let's hear it out of your out of your mouth first. Uh, Should we wait for it? We'll wait. All right, guys. Eric, Midnight Express over here. Midnight Express boots. Hey, keep the keys. We're gonna drive this thing out of here. I am liking this. The thirty-seven. Leslie is over there getting interviewed. We'll catch her later, guys. We're running and gunning over here. Let's see this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, um, definitely like that. All right, guys, let's go. We continue. Let's see what we find. We got a uh, Sea Ray right here, and then we got Formula. You know, I really haven't gone to a Sea Ray much, but we should, right? We should, we should diversify and go into a bunch of places. Ask me how I'm sweating, guys. Ask me how. Tell Alfred, how are you sweating? I think it's the backpack. Oh, man. I got to go back and get my hat. I do, I do got to get my hat. I got to get my hat, guys. Because whoever was the first person to like this video keeps this hat. Can I have the hat back, please? Yes, of course. Thank you so much. I'm actually giving this away. Isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous. $500 right now. You can, it's all yours. Come on, guys. Black Tip H. Praying, guys. We're praying for him. Josh, we got you, bro. You're going to pull through. All right. So, formula in the casa. All right, Mark Morgan. Here you go. Let's see if we can get in here. Can we get in here? I don't know. If I can get in there, I can. Can I get in? I think I can. Oh, I see. I see Intrepid. I also saw a sign over there for... Wait, wait, wait. Yellowfin is over there too. Wait for it. Let's go see. Again, depending on what you're putting, because you're going to run Six hundreds in the house. Right there, you're going to allow for another 60 Nice. This, this guy's working at the boat show. Who works at the boat show? I know, guys. The, the, the small business owners have to do that. There's no stopping when you're a small business owner. You have to take calls even when you're at the boat show, when you're fishing. 600s. I don't know. We did do some walkthroughs, especially in Annapolis. Annapolis boat show, guys. I love that show. And I went over there bothering those guys. That's why a lot of guys are upgrading their services to 400 amps and all, especially for like 400 amps, guys. I don't know. All right. Chaparral. We're walking, we're talking. Chicho in the house. Chicho in the house. Where are you, bro? Where are you? Mirando, mirando, que quiero Compra algo. All right, guys, Chaparral here, represented by Intermarine. Um, I have not seen no pricing, guys. And I don't know if we will, to be honest with you, because the prices are fluctuating a lot. 
They go up, they go down, they go up again. We got Wallcraft, uh, some nice Garib over there. Ooh, this is awesome. I think this is the, the one that we, we walked over there in Annapolis. Oh no, Wallcraft. All right, don't worry about it. Let's go, come on. What do you guys think? Look at the lines on this thing. This thing is a beauty. Daniel. Dimelo. What's up, bro? What's hey, going on, man? You got a card? No, bro. You still doing the uh, the yes, the, the inflatables? Yeah, yeah. I, I got a I got a dinghy that I gotta I gotta take care of. Luxuryribtenders.com. Luxury rib tenders. <laughs> Hit me up from there. In Hialeah. Yeah. Where can I have your number? Bro, I'm, I'm filming right now, and I'm gonna give it to <laughs> thousands and thousands of people. But it's yeah. check that site and, and send me a message. Oh yeah, and always check in the chit show. Ah, chit. wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Four, 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 get it. That's the number, guys. That's the number. Wow, look at this. And what he wants me to do is he wants me to restore our, our original inflatable boat for him. So that's what he wants me to do. And I got a bunch of videos of doing that on my channel, guys. Check out a playlist. It's very interesting. One of the very first series I've done on my channel was the rib boat restorations. Really cool series. I don't know. I just, I just get bored and... I go to different series and do something else and something else. What do you guys think, huh, of the scarab? I'm digging. All right, so we got Mako in the house. Oh, under 100K, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. 79,963 Mako 214. Um, CC under 100k guys. Oh boy. What do you guys think? 80k. Get on the water. Sounds like you're close. What is the power? It's power by 150. And here you have a Ranger. Oh man, I just saw a drop come from up there. What do you guys think? Another Ranger here as well. 2510. I wonder what the price on something like this is. Let's see. You guys liking it? I like all this area right here. You take off those cushions, you have a nice fishing area. 135 guys. 135 with a 300. Let's see what we got here. Oh, under 50k, under 50k, under 50k, guys. See that? I like seeing boats that are under 50k. Yes, I the one of the things that I wish they had more of is boats that were under more than 50 the 50k this is a, another boat that's under 50k and this is also it's a 2023 20, pro skiff 19 center console what do you guys think and it's uh el cocodrilo no me vas a comer a mí porque yo tengo un sombrero el cocodrilo what's going on man i love in the boats hey boats under 50k i like that i like that a lot where are you guys? Where are you guys representing? What dealer? Oh, it's it, it's it's Bass Pro. Okay. Do, do they have a crocodile over there? Maybe we can we can tell. Yeah. We can work something out. I got a couple of them. I got a couple of them. I just go. You know how it is. Couple chickens, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't feed the croc. No, don't feed the croc. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Wait for it. Take care, man. Beautiful boats. All right, guys. Bass Pro. Bass Pro. Tidewater! Tidewater. Um, let's see what we got going on over here. I told you guys, this is going to be a long video. I'm liking this. Oh, speaking of Tidewater, you guys, did you guys miss the video that I did with my neighbor who just... Actually, 
He just started working on the bottom of the uh, Tidewater. It, guys, it was an Ian boat and uh, he's fixing it up and he's in love with it. And uh, we're gonna have great memories. You're gonna see Alfred Montana on the Tidewater a lot because me and my neighbor go fishing a lot. But not all the times we film, right? So, but this thing is beautiful to say the least. Look at this. Actually, maybe Tidewater could see this video and help him out trying to find a, a windshield. He needs a windshield for that. Um, this is hard to get parts, guys. It's really, it's really hard. Look at this, this thing is a beauty. I like it. What do we got here size-wise? Size and price. Give me something, let's see what we got. We got under 100K, 95,000 guys. And it's a 23.8 with an 810 beam. The 232 Alex F. It's a nice looking boat. Hey guys, smash a like if you guys are enjoying the content. It really helps the channel and you know I don't have to eat cereal in the morning. I can eat steak and eggs. No, no. It just helps other people find the the uh, the boats. Here's the same tie water but a bigger. This is what a 272 LXF. Much bigger boat. And this one is 169. Let's see what we got here. Oh boy. Hey, do I have to take off my shoes or go in? No, no I'm good? Yeah? You're good to go. All right, guys, let's walk in here since I don't even have to take off my shoes. Did you guys know that I'm walking around? This, whoever got the first thing is gonna get a really nice hat. I like that. First, first, guys, that you have to have your notifications on. If you don't have your notifications on, you're, you're never gonna win anything. Oh, man. This is spacious, dude. Look at this. Wow. You can put three people there or one person that's very happy. All right, let's go. Continue. Oh my goodness, there's more boats. Um, dusky, Dusky in the house. This is kind of a uh, logo brand over here. What do we got Dusky price points? Without trailer, with trailer 111,000. You, these boats ride really nice in the water. Look at the freeboard on this too. Very, very simple guys. Less is more. Good riding boats though. Very, very good riding boats. Look at, look at, look at this. Okay, look at this configuration. It looks like the same exact boat. One with, with uh, everything open. All right, let's see what this one is. Hold on, let's see what this one's at right now at the show. This one has Suzuki's. 122 with a 122,000 guys with a trailer. Here it is. Sailfish in the house. Sailfish last couple times in a couple shows. I've been seeing them with a lot of uh, big boy boats. What do we got over here? I'm kind of trying to run from music, guys. Let's see what we got over here. 316. 30, this is a 30 footer. Nice and open, I like it. Much smaller here. Oh, look what it is. Guys, it's a gyro. This is a stabilizer. It's a MC2. Look how small this thing is. This is air cooled. Good stuff, good stuff. For all you pukers out there who throw up for anything. Yes, sissies! No, no, I'm just kidding. I had Jose that I that told me that the other day. Like, I love my wife, but I can't go anywhere with her. We go and we stop and she starts throwing up everywhere. All right, guys, Intrepid's there, but we, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna be able to get in there. We gotta go around. But yeah, if, 
if that was you, it doesn't matter because you were in Seattle and ah, you're, I'm over here in Miami, so it doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not worried. Regulator over here. Regulator had another booth though, but this is, look at this. What do you guys think? I want price points, guys. Price points. Give me price points. My audience wants price points. Wow. I have two. Guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not just going to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to throw in, guys, I'm going to throw into the first comment of this video a Chicho hat. But yours will have an American flag, okay? So the first subscriber that actually puts that, look at that. I love that. We got you, Josh. We got you, bro. Hey, Black Tip H, check him out. Check out his uh, website as well if you guys want to support him as well. 26XO over here. You guys like that? How I, I threw a little commercial in there without you even realizing? Look at that. And I just told you that was a commercial. You're like, nothing really changed, Alfred. It's all the same. Okay. What do you guys think about this regulator? Okay, a lot of you guys, you see that pole in the back? That's called a power pole. A lot of you guys always ask, what are those poles? Basically, it's an anchor that you can go ahead and press a button and it just it sticks to the to the ground, you know, sort of softer, softer grounds and stuff like that. Oh, no. I can't take that call. My phone is. Oh, no. I hope it's not important. Your extended warranty is expired. No, I got to get the phone, guys. I got to get the extended warranty. Give me a minute. Camus in the house. What do you guys think? These are beautiful bullets. Beautiful bullets. Look at this. Trip 425s. Yammies. There's a TikTok trend and a whole trend right now on uh, Instagram with Yamaha. It's pretty cool. This is very nice. This is one of those boats I want to come back and do a dedicated walkthrough for sure. 100%. Look at this beautiful boat. Yeah, they have their shoes off. So, so listen up, guys. If you're here at the show and you guys want free coffee and food, come over here. Okay. 281 HB, 299, guys. 299. This is a beautiful looking boat. Look at the finishes, guys. They do a really good job on these boats. Wow. Um, yeah, I guess there's different levels of quality. This is up there. You, you see it. Look at these steps here as well. See this? Look at that. Nice. I'm kind of like, I'm wearing my hat. Um, <laughs> I, I see people saying, is that him? Oh, I'm hearing him. Even though the hat says, it says the Chicho, I mean, like the Chicho is like one of, most more, um, one of my famous series, right? Guys, Camus, uh, beautiful boats, and uh, we continue. Let's see what we got here in Contender. Oh yeah, this is a big boy. How many drinks are you in already? Is this the first, second, third beer? How many? How many? I don't know. Comment below. Contender is a very popular fishing boat down here in South Florida. Well, uh, in a lot of places, but it's definitely got a nice following. You know, I haven't really done too much on Contenders. Contender, reach out to me. Let's go ahead and uh, on a boat ride. Let me know. Some nice looking boats. Look at, look at this. There's the profile here on the side. Let's go see that bay boat. It's got a 300 with dual power poles. Yeah. 
What do you guys think? Very, very nice. Oh no, we got Grady White in the house. Where is Grady White? Yeah, you're gonna see a canyon right now. And it's not a canyon, it's a boat. Oh no, I can't get out through here. I'm forced to come out of here. I wanted to give you guys a whole perspective of the canyon from Grady White, but I guess not. Here it is. Oh man, we gotta do a walk through this. For sure. They were over there at the uh, Seattle Boat Show too. I just, I ran out of time guys. Wow, this canyon is, this guys, this is a monster, dude. What a huge boat, dude. Let's get in here and see, see what we've got. A, oh, we got Chris Crab in the house too. Oh man, I hope Max is there. I want to bother him. All right, let's go. We'll, we'll get in there now, let's see, let's go. No. That's, all the time on the internet. On the internet? Yes. Ooh, the, well, how do you know it's me? Well, I recognize you, man. I see your face. Ah! I see your face. 6'5", 225 and ripped? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I must have you confused. <laughs> Someone else. No, ah, you blew my cover. What are you doing? Oh, so where are you coming from? North Carolina. North Carolina? I started watching your show about three months ago. Okay. The Chit Show there. The, the Chit Marina. Show, yes. Yeah, and I watch you do all the boat shows. You go all over the world yes. and do the boat shows. And, yes. Uh, it's just great. I thought I might run into you. Look here, I ran into you. So is the boat show in Miami what you thought it was going to be or Never what? Never been here before and I've only been here about an hour, but uh, I think it's great. And to look at a boat in person versus on the internet, big difference. Anything in particular you really like? Uh, yes, we like the Roballo. Okay. Uh, and we, we have a couple like of Roballos the, on the, the channel sea, too. The Sea Fox. Okay. Love that. We're looking at some. No. Show made. No. I have a Montanero. Uh, how you say it last Out time? from yes. Yeah. This is my wife, Mary Sue. You guys are stalking me over here. Just come, come up here already. Come on. Come on. Oh, Stop pretending. Yeah, Mary Auntie, and this is Jim from Virginia Beach. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness, what is this? Lauren. What are, are all my subscribers from Grady White people or what? Yes. That is so yeah, awesome. <laughs> all right, well, um, I appreciate the love, guys. You guys are awesome. All right. Um, let's take a picture before. I'm gonna pause real quick because I gotta get this phone call. Let's all take a picture together. All right, guys, wait for it. Off from out there making scene as always. Wait, I'll be right back. Don't. How how cool is that, guys? That was so cool. Um, they're talking to you guys. You know what, I, I, enjoy, I enjoy when you guys tell me all the stories and all the moments when you guys have been watching the content and you guys bring up all these cool things and things that we've done throughout the channel. So cool. All right, we're back to the uh, Grady White booth. I wanted to show you guys some of these boats. I, I wanted to film them in Seattle, but I didn't know that they were gonna be here, so. And just, I just wanted to focus on a lot of the aluminum stuff over there in Seattle because it's just so different from what we see over here. Um, what do you guys think? What do we got over here? They got something, do they got price points? Okay, 339 for this Grady White 281 Coastal Explorer. It's also got dual power poles with some yammies. What do you guys think about this, huh? Nice side door with a swim ladder. That Grady White flare. Huh? What do you guys think about that? All right, guys. Look at this real quick. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. It is. Guys, it's that big. It is that big. Let me see if I can get up before this guy gets up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wow, look at this canyon. Oh, we're gonna have to come back and do a dedicated walkthrough, guys, of this boat. Absolutely amazing.
to say the least. Wow, this thing is beautiful. All right, guys, we're going to definitely come back, try to do a dedicated walkthrough with the people here at Grady White. This thing is a monster, to say the least. And look, here's a... Guys, there's, there's a huge selection of boats from Grady White. So, let's go. All right, let's continue. We can be here all day. We can have an hour video here at Grady White if we showed all these boats, right? Oh boy. Oh man. I smell them somewhere. I smell them somewhere. Wait for it. Wow. Electrified performance. What do you mean electric? Electrified. Don't tell me this is electric. Nah. It's a problem. Dude, this is electric. No. No, Chris Craft is here with something electric? Nah. Have hey, you guys seen Max? Okay, well, we're going to take him away from the customer. Where's he at? Let's go. We're going to make things uncomfortable for somebody here in Chris Craft. You know, that's what we do. What's that? He owes me money, dude. You know, I, yeah, but don't say that. I don't want people to know. There he is. There he is. Hey, I just told somebody you owe me money, and they were like, he's over there. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> what? what? Uh, it's not Dude. me. It must be another guy. Dude, they threw you under the bus. I mean, they, they didn't even think twice. You want to know who it was? Go. I'll go. Rusty. Was it Rusty? No, it wasn't Rusty. No, Rusty. No? Oh, Last no, year's no, no. was better, though, right? <laughs> no, no, but this guy, this guy didn't even think twice. I was like, he owes me money. He's like, boom. He was like, over there. <laughs> Max, Max from Chris. So what do we got going on? So we got, hold on, let me go my shoes. All right, guys. Oh, we, got, we, got a couple, we got a couple new things this year. So we have our brand new Calypso 32 worldwide debut. Okay. A lot of cool features on that. We're going to look at that tomorrow, right? Yeah, we'll okay. do a dedicated walkthrough. Great, great. Also, and then we have a new concept boat, which is our 25 GTE. It's fully electric. I just saw that. So it's, it's electric for real, real? Electric. Wait a second, wait a second. But is that something that you guys are going to have in the future? We, it's a concept right now. Okay. So it's not for sale. So we're, we're just putting it out there and we're, we're going to be... Wow, that is yeah. interesting. Yep. yep. So so can we can look at that and look at the 32 real quick? Just like, yes. uh, yeah. just 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 show me, yeah, the, like from, without getting inside, because we want to do a dedicated walkthrough. Yep. Yep. Guys, Chris Craft, beauty over here. It was this guy right here, Max, Max, look. Right here, this oh, guy. This so. guy yeah, hey, I was watching your back. I saw him going over. Thank oh, <laughs> just in case. Quick, quick. He's coming to look at him. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. He was like, I was watching your back, and he was running the other way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So there, there's the charger. So it's from Avoa. So Avoa is the the engine company that, that okay. is um, um, powering this boat. Where is Avoa from? Do you know? Uh, Orlando. Okay, Orlando. okay. Orlando. so it's it's an American-made company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I so, think so yeah. I okay, so, so we're gonna right do right there. Yeah. where? Right there in the blue shorts. In the blue shorts? The right there, standing right there. These guys right here. Okay, all, all, yeah. all, 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 those all, guys. all those guys. Okay. This, uh, is, this, is, this is it right here. Though. So, okay, so I think, I think we should bug them. Because this is big, dude. This is big. Chris Craft, go, go bug them real quick. Let me show this real quick. Guys, this is big. Guys, think about this. You can have a boat fully electric that looks like this. Oh my, think about it. Some people don't need hundreds of miles of range. Oh man, this is, this is a game changer, dude. Absolute game changer. I don't know if I'm the guy, but I'm just no, you're the guy right now. You're the camera's going. Yeah, you're the Max guy. Going. Okay, go you're, you're going. Okay, <laughs> all right. You you guys have an electric motor, powered by electric batteries, 100% on this Chris Craft, and don't let this guy punch you or scare you. This is legit, right? Well, it's legit, yes. Well, it's legit. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the technology on the electric side because I I already kind of know that the boats are good, mm -hmm. and they're made amazing like this. So tell me the thought process because there's going to be other manufacturers right. that watch my channel right. and they're like, hey, I would love to use that 
propulsion system on my who knows, you know? Right, so you're, you're probably more familiar with electric people are more familiar with uh, radio flux motors. Uh, you see those in the Teslas and a lot of maybe even other electric boats that are here. Okay. Uh, we actually use an actual flux motor, which is a more compact design that goes actually along the um, shaft. I don't understand anything you're saying, but but, but 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 listen, the people that that do do the nerd out on this stuff are gonna get it, right? No, they will. Which they will. is okay. So continue. So by doing that, you create more torque for the size that we're offering in a 62 pound motor. We're gonna, and on this boat, we stack two motors on top of each other. Okay. To give us the 430 horsepower engine. 430 horsepower on this. Lot of torque within it, 120 it pounds. Yeah. It moves. How long would it last? So this boat right here, if you're a normal boater who's not just gonna throttle down and uh, go for it all about the sea, if you're just cruising around with your family, or running around, you get three to four hours in leisure. Which is what I was saying. Which yeah. is what I was saying. Like some people just want to go, yep. like through their canal system or where they're, wherever they're at. Maybe their lake system, sure. yep. and they want to go to to have a drink or maybe have it in the back of their. Eye. And they don't need nothing like that, right? Mm -hmm. They yep. want to just get up and go when they want to. They can get up and then still have an hour to, of battery to come back. So is this the future? I believe so. This is this is a foot in the door, right? So we're gonna start here and then continue forward as as technology and as collaboration is added to this project and uh, this again this is just a start really at some point do you think max could show us any of the stuff inside there like the motors and stuff For sure. okay max what we'll do is we'll do a follow-up yep. video i'll link this video to that one yep. and then we'll do this is the 30 the new 32 the new 32 calypso, yeah. the new 32 so calypso. exciting things on this on that boat it's gonna be you could we could probably get a better view from this side. come here thank you so much hey you were awesome thank you Hey, I didn't understand anything, <laughs> but it sounded good. It's, it sounded great as hell. So, so this this boat, real quick, I'll spend a lot more time on it later. Yeah, but this we'll do a follow-up. Customer experience on the boat and away from the boat. We have an app for just this boat. For this boat, it's we're debuting it with this boat. Drop the mic. It's called My Chris Craft. Drop. Yes. There, there you go. There you go. You so just dropped it's pretty, it. It's pretty neat. Okay. And I see you guys all looking like. Like if you guys are going to the Olympic all oh, like the, the polo <laughs> attire. See my jacket tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All right, <laughs> Max, I'll see Max, I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to do a follow up, guys. Check it out on the channel. Always, always, always good to see you, always good to see you Max. <laughs> guys, unreal. <laughs> guys, stay tuned. We got more videos to do. Wait for it. Wow so many in so many interesting things um oh no my phone just went off roballo in the casa what's up with roballo let's see what roballo has see if we got something in a price point that you guys like um we see a lot of roballos out of black point marina guys Got a couple of videos over there on at the uh, and if like I said, if you guys don't watch the chit show, there's a playlist on my channel. Just subscribe, it's free, and uh, you guys will see all the crazy stuff I do on my channel. I am, um, I'm liking this 266 Cayman. What do you guys think? Smash that like. Let me know. That's a beauty. Okay, oh my, my. Oh no! You know, I was at the other boat show and we missed you. Which one? Seattle? No, Port Lauderdale. You didn't show up till Saturday. It's not that. I'm here now. What do you want? Do we... No. You know the guy that got your camera all wet? We were asking, where's Alfred? Daniel. Daniel. Daniel's a character. And we were looking for you and you didn't show up till Saturday. I, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Daniel and I were just messing. No, nah, I know, I know. I, Daniel's over there, probably on Where's in the water. I think yeah, he's in the he's water with his cowboy hat. hat. Yeah, his cowboy hat. I'm gonna have to talk to him about that. Hey, good to see you, guys. Roballo here in the house. Subscribers, Daniel from Tuppence Marine. Yes, when he says the, he wet his camera, basically, I was filming on one boat, and uh, and he just literally just waked i mean bro it was the worst day of my life my whole camera got wet my gimbal got soaked my audio got ruined but it was a great story and it's a great memory thank you daniel daniel was hilarious about it though too 
He's like, let's do it again. I was like, no, man. All right, we got a 246. Let's see, we got some. Oh, 123. 123, 365. A 246 Cayman. Robalo, what do you guys think? Just over 100K. For those of you guys that um, were wondering, because I know you guys are like, the person who called me, it wasn't my extended warranty. It was Boyd from Sirocco Marine. And uh, he's like, hey, I know you're at the show. I'm not at the show right now because we're selling a lot of fluid police boats. So whenever you get a chance, come to the shop so I can show you some of those boats. So, so yes, a lot of law enforcement uh, from fluid. And you know that Boyd and I have some incredible memories together for those of you guys that have been watching the channel for a while. Very nice, look at this, this 360. Man, I kind of feel dirty, but I, I'm gonna jump on here, guys. Robalo's not looking. No shoes on the boat! All right, wait, hold on, guys. Could you imagine if security just gets in? I gotcha! You've been set up! This is a trick boat! I like this, look at this. Man, look at this. I'm glad I came up here, guys. I, there's still, <laughs> if you guys watch the, uh, the Seattle boat show, I kind of did something similar and I felt the same way and then two little kids were there and I pretend scolded them. <laughs> kind of like the way I feel right now. So that's why I'm about to get off of here. But it was a funny, it was a funny moment. Very nice boats. Good job, Robalo. We have a really nice clip of this one at the boat ramp. The boats that Daniel sells that are like the Everglades, what, what brand is that? Marl. No, no. The Solis? Solis, thank you. Solis, yes. Solis. Solis is on the water this year, which is, you'll see a follow-up video, guys, of the boats that are on the water. This is kind of like the convention center. How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. Oh, no, somebody coughed. Oh, but the run is over. Oh no, this is just the flu, it's worse. All right, what do we got here? Um, Everglades, Everglades. And we have some amazing videos on these boats as well on my channel. Big boys, to say the least. What do you guys think about these Everglades? We're gonna try to see if there's a price point on this. These are nice. I am so surprised. I am really so surprised. And nothing taken away from the, the rod holders, right? But being in the Pacific Northwest and at the Seattle Boat Show, all I saw was burn wind. Burn wind, burn and burn. And it's like, you don't see none of them here. I don't understand why. And they're such amazing rod holders. I don't know. They call it bow jewelry over there in the Pacific Northwest. Okay. So this one that we just saw was 225 bow show price. And here's guys, this is this is one of the very first times that wait a second, what is this? There you go. This is the very first time in a while that actually boats, there's actually boats available that you can just go to a boat show and buy it then and there. How crazy is that? It's been a minute since we've been able to do that. <laughs> we got here for 335, what do we got here? Um, 273 center console from Everglades. Bro, there's so with all these people coughing, bro. What is going on here? Stop acting crazy, bro. Pretty or what? I think it looks good. Look at all these seats. You can just turn them into seats real quick just with, by flipping them. Looking good. All right, guys. Everglades. It wasn't for you, dude. It wasn't for you. It wasn't for you. I said looking good, and you're like, how you doing? I was, 
I've done, I've done videos with you, Tony. What's going yeah, on? Yeah. How you been? Good. I see. What's that monster over there? What is that? Oh my goodness, what a beast. Did, uh, in Fort Lauderdale with you. Yeah, but wasn't it the 455 or it wa was it the 395? I think it was the big boy. Was yeah, yeah, we did that one. Yeah, the How's the show so far? It's pretty good. It's just started. Like, yeah. you can't say it's I mean, just... A lot, of, a lot of vendors, you know, a lot of... Yeah, 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 people, people like me bothering you. Yeah. <laughs> good to see you, Tony. Good to see you, man. Tony, yeah, we did some cool videos at the, uh, at the uh, Fort Lauderdale boat show. CV in the house. Obviously, these are very popular down here. What do you guys? All right, guys. CV290. Beautiful boats, guys. Finishes are impeccable. And they're, they're boats that perform very, very well in rough waters. Here's, here are the bigger ones. I don't even know how they got this thing in here, dude. Look how look how big this thing is. Let's go see what we got here. Now they have a big factory in Medley, Florida. That looks like the 45 right there. Oh no. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's a 45. This is the 370Z. Let's see what we got up here. Cool. We got some people working, guys. CV in. What's going on? Wait for it. The hag gave it away. We're here because of you being here last year. We decided we yeah, had to we check it out. So, so Miami, the Greater Commerce Chamber of Commerce of Miami, should say Alfred Montaner. Absolutely. We're going to give you the key to the city because. Absolutely. Which city though? Which one? The Miami Beach, Miami. All of them. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. <laughs> Have you guys seen anything you like the most? We just got a new boat, so we're. We so you're cheating on your new boat that you just yeah, got it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, what did you guys get? Yellowfin. Oh, a yellowfin. Yeah. Nice. Those are great boats too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so now we're just here to. Out everything else. Enjoy Miami. Well, thank you for <laughs> coming. I'll take all the credit. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. That's awesome, guys. I love it when you guys tell me you're here because of me, right? I'm proud to say I was in the chit show. What? I'm proud to say that we were on the chit show in a you, good way. We didn't do anything wrong. What did you do? <laughs> I remember. Boat, whale, whale. You helped somebody? <laughs> did you help somebody? Because if not, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wreck you guys right now. <laughs> Hold on. You're, you're... You wrecked the Boston Whaler. Oh, you wrecked the Boston Whaler? Yeah. Oh. No, no. Okay, so wait. Refresh my memory. I'll remember. No, dude, what do you mean? You're doing all these videos. I don't remember. It was like a month ago. <laughs> no, we dude, were you're on the Alabama Jacks. Yeah, going okay. to Alabama Jacks and a little Boston Whaler. And well, you, you said. He is six foot five. You, uh, bro, he you, 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 <laughs> listen. Why do you think? Uh, and I'm not being rude. I'm putting. I'm holding the thing down so I don't have to look at you like this, right? Because right. what are you like five two? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, guys. This doesn't stop, guys. Oh no! Jupiter. Wait for it. Oh my goodness. Oh man, what is this? This this is already next level. What's going on over here at Jupiter, dude? Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm uh, I'm recording. Perdona, hello. Oh my goodness. All right, everybody's got their shoes on, so. Hey, welcome to Jupiter. Oh my goodness, what is this, dude? Que gesto, caballero, what is this? Oh my goodness. What boat is this? 41? 41. What the? This is absolutely crazy, dude. Oh my goodness. I got to guys, we got to come back to do a, a dedicated walkthrough. Oh my goodness. Look at this boat, dude. All right, all right, all right, guys. We're not even going to show anymore. I'm in love. I got my checkbook with me. I got to go. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. Absolutely crazy. Uh, Look at how 
You got Boston Whaler. Boston Whaler guys always has a bunch of people on their boats. And uh, it's, uh, it's always a little tough to get in there. So, probably gonna miss that one. But we got some edge waters here. Let's see if we can get, get some eyes on some of these edge waters. Hold on. Wow, did you guys see that Jupiter? Oh my goodness, I gotta go back. Oh no, this is not an entrance. Why? Why did they do this to me? All right, let's see if we can go around, guys, so, so we don't miss that water. We're getting close to the engine manufacturer, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna see them now in a minute. Let's see what we got here with that water, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll run and gun, guys. One long video here at the Miami Boat Show. I'm liking this. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Look at the details, dude. Nice door here as well. Wow. I am, I am in love. Let's see, there's, there's something even more beautiful, if that is even possible. 370cc edge water. Oh, wow. All right, nobody's looking, guys. Let's get in there. No shoes and all, baby. Let's go. Disrespect at the fullest. Never coming back on my channel. Look at this. Nice. Live wells. Is that a door? Yes, it is a door. Guys, absolute beauty. Beautiful. Look at this. I'm sure. Damn it. I broke it. So all that, the lights even change colors and everything. I love that little sink there as well. You know we're gonna get screamed at. I know it's gonna happen. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Hey, smash a like, guys, for Edgewater. Um, this is this is looking mighty sick. Oh, look, it's recessed right there. So this table goes down all the way and flush, but if you wanted to lay out, you can. I like that, the ladies love getting some sun. This is probably the best seat in the house right here. Look at this. Nice handrail also, I like that. Looks like a nice big glass windshield. Oh, this cabin must be pretty dope. I already see it, guys. I already see it. Bolster seating, three. Oh, we just saw these switches in uh, Seattle on the life proof. Oh yes. Wow. What a beautiful, this guys, this is the center console and it's got a head. It's got a head. I can't, I got my backpack on. I can't get in there guys. I don't want my backpack to scratch anything, right? It's a brand new boat. Speaking of that, something interesting happened in Seattle with my camera, but that's a little thing that happens. It happens when you work hard. Yes. You wait for it. <laughs> All right, guys. We continue here at the boat show. We got Sea Fox in the house. What do we got? C Fox, what do we got? Do we get some pricing, C Fox? Give me some pricing, give me some pricing. Um, no. Now, my local distributor for Yamaha said there's five year warranty on Yamaha. I gotta find that out. Oh, 169, there it is. 268 Commander, 
169 guys. We're getting we're getting closer to the uh, end, guys. Really? We still got some more. Don't don't don't, don't get me wrong. Yeah. The chit show has not ended. Sea Fox is coming out with some big boys. 675 for the 368 Commander. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, this is different. I like this. Wow. Alright, so yeah, because they have some type of C deck here, guys, I don't want to step on my shoes. But yes, impressed. Sea Fox is definitely representing here at the Miami Boat Show. We got some scarabs over here. Wake, wake boats. $143,000. We got a small one there. I want you guys to take a look at it. It looks kind of cool. Hey, comment below if you guys do this type of uh, boating. That, that looks, that looks kind of cool, dude. Look at this. Tell me this thing doesn't look fun as hell. I think so. Oh, look at him. It's like a commercial and everything. I hope, uh, what's going on, guys? Uh, yeah, bro, how much? Let's, 50? Let's do it. Let's go right now. Let's go. When I come back, I'm finished. I'm finishing filming. What boat is that? What's it called? Uh, that is the Scarab 165. 165 Scarab. How fast does it go? Like 60. 60? All right, guys. I had to run from him, guys. That that music will mess up my video. Um, any copyright problems is a problem. So yes. Mastercraft, another wake boat type boat. These. Uh, I don't know, I don't see many of these down here in South Florida, but they, they're here, so there's got to be buyers for them. I know in the middle of the country, they're, they're big. I saw another company in the front as you come in. Remember, we started from the end of the show towards the front of the show when we did this video. Oh, a pontoon. Pontoon boats, guys. What? Bombardier? Rodax Outboard Marine Power Innovation Award. What's going on here? I don't know. Comment below, guys, if you know what's going on here. All right, let's see what's going on. Manitou. Or is it Manitou? I don't know, guys. You tell me. But I'm telling you, it looks nice. This ain't your grandpa's boat anymore. I'm, I'm like, let me tell you something. I've become a pontoon boat uh, connoisseur after I've started getting deeper dives into um, tritunes and all that stuff. It's, it's changed a lot, guys. Look at this. Tell me about it. Imagine being with all your friends on this. Like, it's like a party. Like, this is like the way you go ch chill, right? Go to the sandbar and something like this. This is dope. Everybody's comfortable. The kids screaming. You have to end up in the ER somehow. But it, it doesn't matter, guys. You know how it is. That's all I tell my kids. Whenever we go out anywhere, just I just don't want to end up in the ER. Go ahead and do whatever you guys want. I just don't want to be in the ER. Okay, somebody's got a comment. What is this? What's this propulsion system on these on these boats now? And they're Innovation Award winners. So, look, some of you guys were asking. Um, why we don't feature trailers. Guys, I have no problem showing trailers. Two, we have Magic Tilt here. And for those of you guys, oh wait. This is Lewis from Camp Out. Hey, What's going on? How you doing? Bro, there's nobody in Miami that can fix anything when it comes to a trailer like you. An RV or anything. So you guys are here representing the Magic Tilt? What else do you guys have here? 
Magic Just Magic Tilt. Just Magic Tilt. Are you guys having them camp out over there in Homestead? Yeah. No. Yeah? Anything in stock? Are these your stock? Yeah. yeah. How big can you get them? All the way up to I may have 44. To the All the way up to 44? Good to see you. Tell Greg I say hello. All right, guys. Louis, guys, Louis. Louis is the person who took me out of all my missions. Rocket trailers over here, they make a very good trailer down in South Florida um, as well. So, yes. Um, yeah, Louis knows so much, guys. All right. We are in the medic now. We're going to turn to the right, and I think, I think. We have uh, Yamaha back here. This is the Yamaha display. All right, so maybe I'll do it this show again because I think it's time for a refresh. I did a video a couple years ago at the Miami show of all the engine manufacturers that were at the show at the time. And I talked to the actual salespeople from their, their you know, from Yamaha, from Mercury, from wherever I filmed. And I want to do a follow-up video so you guys can see, pound for pound, the advantages and the warranties of those companies, right? Yamaha obviously has a big uh, following down here in South Florida. And then you have Suzuki. Big, big booth, guys, over here. You got Suzuki. And I see also Ox. Oh, and I think there's inflatables. I saw... I saw an inflatable. All right. In the Annapolis show, we did a video of twin 200s. Was it 300s? Wait, it was twin 300s. Yes, on a Cape Horn of the Ox diesel. These are diesel outboard engines, guys. And um, I did an amazing video over there on my channel, pound for pound. Um, no one has more views than me when it comes to Ox on their channel. I don't know. The algorithm on YouTube just likes it. Suzuki, obviously, um, during the pandemic, they had a lot of motors. They were just cranking out motors, guys, and you're seeing a lot of motors that are Suzuki's down here in South Florida. A lot. I think, I think they sold the most, to be honest with you. Because they're the ones they had. They only had. They had what they had. We got Mercury. In the Seattle Boat Show, I also just filmed a brand new electric, I think it was a 7.5 EV um, Mercury. The Verado. Here's the inside. See? That's pretty cool how they did that. This is honestly their flagship, the 600. Oh, we got inflatables! <laughs> Wait for it. De dónde vienen? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Te seguimos, te seguimos. I can tell cómo están. Good. Bien, gracias a Dios. Mi esposa me dice, ay, ojalá veamos a Alfred para verlo en verdad. Seis cinco, dos veinticinco. Por eso, por eso, míralo allí. Ese es. There you go. Es que cómo van, cómo me van a perder. Por eso. Thank you. Quieren tirarse una foto? Sí. Saca el teléfono. Pero por favor, no. Mira, guau, aguántale, pero quítase la máscara para la foto. Por favor, para que para que tenga un recuerdo bonito. Dale. Qué bueno. Voy a toser dos veces. Espera, no, 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 no. Te estoy jodiendo. Dale. I'm telling him. Listen, no. Here, here, I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Right here. Wait for it. One, two. Quita de sola oreja, que se ve mal. One, two. <laughs> guys. Wow, Ay, gracias, Thank you so much. I love seeing your smiles. 
Hasta luego, guys. Thank you so much. Puerto Rico in the house. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know, guys. I know. Uh, yes, I just don't want people to never, like, they had such a cool moment with me, right? And I don't want them to remember their mass moment, right? I want it to be a nice memory. And I told them in Spanish, don't worry, I'll hold my breath. And I said, give me a second before I do it, let me cough twice. And they're like, ah, they started laughing. Oh, we're, we're in my neck of the woods, guys. Inflatables. Oh, my, my. We're obviously in the AB booth right now. I love that, guys. I love seeing you guys happy and smiling. It's so nice to see that. I wonder if... Uh, Achilles, remember Achilles is the little boat that we're doing the dinghy series. I'm doing a dinghy series, guys, and I'm getting on a 100% inflatable boat. And what I do on that boat, I basically go everywhere because I can. Here's an Apex. We saw some of them over there at Seattle as well. Walker Bay. Lauderdale inflatables down here in Miami. And sorry, in Fort Lauderdale. They have Walker Bays in stock. They actually hooked me up with a little Zodiac too. So no, we got some music. Why, 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 why? Oh, we got Achilles. This is it. This is Achilles. Oh, that's it. This is it, guys. I'm sorry. That guy ran really fast. Why did he leave so fast? That point in the camera is gone. I know, he's scary. Why? <laughs> He didn't want to be on TV. This is not TV, this is YouTube, it's bigger. Oh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> well, it Jeffrey, you know I'm doing the dinghy series, right? Yes. What boat am I using? You're using the LSI 29. Ow! Guys, this is it, guys. This is the same exact boat that I'm filming the dinghy series with. So it's 100% inflatable, okay? And uh, Hypalon tubes. And the reason I like it is because I can literally put this on a golf cart if I want to. I just put it in my bag, I wrap it up and I take it anywhere. Right. I sometimes just like, hey, go with my friends and I'll be like, hey, you got the golf cart? And they're like, yeah, and we put it in the back of the golf cart and we go and I don't put everything on YouTube. You know that, right? Right. Um, so what are these here? These, these are obviously, are these fiberglass or aluminum? Aluminum. Aluminum? Yep. Okay, what's the price on the one that I use for my dinghy series? Brand new. Around $2,500 at the show. $2,500. You know that I bought mine for $800 used eight years later. Right. Used from someone, right? But I just wanted to do the, 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 the series, but it was an eight-year-old tube. Right. And the point that I'm trying to make with that is you guys make really good Hypalon. Yes. And I know that. So I was like, hey, listen, 800 bucks, And then at some point, you know, I do whatever I want with the thing. And, um, you can still sell it for eight years. Oh, no, I can sell it for more. I know I can sell it for more. The guy was on crack. But no, 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 not really, not really. But okay, so okay, so so what's something like this? Oh, Glenn, there's a Rafnar over there, and there's, I saw that there's a flex boat over there too. All right, are you gonna be here now in a minute? Um, no, I'm gonna show the apex, uh, the the uh, the flex boat. I'm gonna go over there. Go do what you gotta do. I I want to talk to you about that Rafnar on the other side of the thing too. Okay. All right, guys, guys, that's, that is a rib boat legend right there. Glenn from Li Lifeline Inflatables. Okay, Jeffrey, sorry about that. But that was, that's a local legend, you know yeah, that, right? Yeah. Um, no, no, nobody rides a rib harder than him, be careful. Yeah. Okay, what's the price point on something like this? That's around 5,000. 5,000, all aluminum, Hypalon. Um, yep. Any features you wanna highlight on, particular, on this particular boat? Um, well, it's, it's got a nice little... Uh, it's got a double floor, so... If the water goes under the floor, your feet aren't going to get wet. Okay. Put a gas tank up here, run the tube underneath, so it leaves the floor completely free of any sort of... So you could run your gas line hazards. on the bottom of yes. it. Okay. Nice. I like yeah. that. I really like that. You know, it gets kind of... In a small boat, everything gets a little bit more difficult. Correct. Everything so, gets in the way. Yeah, it's in the way. So that's Very awesome. Things, so. Yep. Okay, what about something like this? Now you're talking about a console and everything. What's price point on something like this now? 16,500. 16,500? As is. Okay, what, what horsepower does this have? A 20? Yep. How fast is it going with the 20? Probably around 30 miles an hour. 30? Yeah, maybe a little bit more. That's good. Right I don't right. need more for that. No. I just need to go from my boat to 
the bar. Yeah, on a 10 foot boat, you don't really want to go more than 30 miles an hour. It's scary. Unless it's a jet, then you can go 60. All right, well, it was good to see you. Likewise. And uh, see you later. we're going to continue over there. I'm going to, I'm going to show. I'm going to show the Zodiac and I'm going to go back over here to Flex Boat since Glenn went over here. Guys, Zodiac is in the house. And for those of you guys that don't know, I went to the Zodiac factory and I did a full factory tour years ago. And uh, it was an amazing video. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I have to take a quick break so I can change my, my camera battery. We're gonna continue here in the Zodiac booth. And uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Smash a like. Wow, this thing is beautiful. Okay, so what size boat you are you looking for? 20, well, we, we, have a, we have a CV. Okay. And uh, now we want to get a rib boat. Just but what size? Pala, pala what paita, size? Like a 20. Like a 20 or a 19. Why do you want it so big, though? If you're going to, if you already have another boat. Because we have people. Yeah. So get like between 15 and 17, you're fine. Yeah. Why are you going to get a 20 if you got it? Well, how big is your, is your, your other boat? Uh, 30. To yeah, you don't want you don't you, you don't want you don't want that you don't you you you're, you're but going. But I want this if I want oh, to take oh, that oh, boat Okay, out, okay, okay. okay but the, here's the thing: when you get to a bigger boat, and just I'm 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 actually telling them the recommendation too because I get this question a lot. What happens is when you already have a boat, if it's a 20 footer, it's a boat. So now when you want to go ahead and get dingy access to like all the bars and all the things, you become a problem as opposed to when you go into something with between 15 and 17. Yeah. You can squeeze in anywhere True. and you fit. So you're not going to have the mission of, oh, I can't go. And the rib boats are going to fit a lot of people because so they're like, rated for weight. So something like this one? This is perfect. Size-wise, perfect. Right? With what, what kind of this? engine? Like a well, one, you, listen, depending on how many people you want on the boat. So like a right. 150, so, 200? Well, I would say 115 you'll, you'll be able to get. Really? 115? 115, dude. I have a 17-foot Nova Jolly, which is an Italian boat. And I put 10 people on that boat whenever I, if I really wanted to. I've had it happen. Yeah. Right? But like I'm telling you, the 17 is like the cutoff before you become a problem. When you're going to go to a place, now you can't park nowhere, no, right? No, I hear what you're saying. So, so you got to think about that as well. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. So, so no, look, 15 perfect. and 17 is a good size. And from all the boats, and you can delete that later, which rib boat do you recommend besides the Zodiac? Um, Zodiac? Look, oh, look. And one of your videos, you talked about the... Uh, then you said, smell it, smell it, smell Hy it. Hyperlon, okay, so Hyperlon. Okay, so, so all these boats here are Hyperlon. <laughs> all, all, the, all these are Hyperlon. They're all Hyperlon boats. And Zodiac makes a good boat. Now, you have AB. Look, you got Czar over here. You got Walker Bay. You, I mean, you got Argos Nautic. There's so many boat things. What I would encourage you, there's a video on my channel called Ribs, Tenders, and Dinghies on my mm -hmm. channel. Look at that, that video. It's very informative because I just do a video about dinghies and tenders. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to give you a better idea of what you might want. Yeah. All right. Perfect. No filter. Well, gonna, what's your name? What's your name? Guys, no. <laughs> what's his name? Natalie. 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 Your name is Natalie. No filter, Natalie. And now I know where the, the daughter got it from. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Hey. All right, guys. Guys. Um, that's always interesting. The conversations. And let me tell you guys. Um, Zodiac makes a fantastic boat. Very, very good boat. And uh, right. what happens yeah. is, is everybody, everybody's different, right? And how they're handled. Czar in the house. This is also an Italian made boat. A lot of Italian. I want to go to one of the Italian boat shows one day. Hopefully, one day, guys, we'll go into the Italian boat show. Okay, look at this, look at this little tender. Wow, this is, this is beautiful, I love this. Now, the difference between Czar, Czar has mostly here is fiberglass and then you just have this pontoon here on the sides. But look how cute this is, dude. This thing looks like a beast. How cool is this? Wait a second. Oh no, I missed somebody. Hold on guys, hold on. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go. We're gonna go over here. There's there's a there's there's a place I wanted to stop by, but we still gotta walk out. Um, I'm, I'm telling you guys. See see what happens here. This is this is why people like my channel. It's the truth, and uh, people. Dímelo. Come along. What's going on, man? <laughs> what are you guys? You guys here shopping or just browsing? Browsing. Find something. Let me know, man. I got a 39 CV already, bro. Why are you flexing on us, bro? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, have a good time at the show. I'm here doing the whole walkthrough of the entire show, so it's good. It's a good show. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's and not I, that crazy. I love your show. Thank you. The chit show in the house. Wait for it. All right, guys. Yeah, can you imagine people just stumbled across this video and they've never seen the Chicho and they're hearing everybody talk about the Chicho? By the way, Chicho hats are available, guys. Look at look at that beautiness. Beautiness. Wow. American hat flags also. LuxuryRibTenders.com. Uh, get them while they last. And we also have the Fred Black Point version, which is a cool new hat that we have on my site. Sportsman. I like these boats. Let's see if we can get something over here that nobody's on. All right, we got what here. So 110,000 purchase price here at 232 open. Hey, we've been going pretty long. This place is undecado. I can't believe the people and all the things that they say. A lot of things happen off camera, guys, but man, some of you guys are just, just, ah! I love it. This is pretty nice. Oh, that's wet sounds over there. Okay. Um, they put some Phil Collins over there, guys. I don't know if you hear that with the thing, but I don't think they keep it on too long because they'll get thrown out of the uh, convention center. But, uh, but yeah, those are wet sound speakers in the background. If you hear some music. Cobalt over here. All right, I'm going to hang a quick left. And uh, what do we got here? Who do we have here? A hey, smash I like, guys. This has been a, a nice long video. I love doing these videos for you guys. Hey, man. How you doing? How are you? What's going on? I, I watch you all the time. You sounded like a CIA agent. I was like, what's going on? What happened? What did I do? You watch the channel? Oh, yeah. Love it. You love it? Yeah, Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, you know who's over there? My friend, Derek from On the Water. Yeah. Okay. You watch him? Yeah. Yeah, he's nuts. Oh, look at Bill on the Water. So it's where it all happens right here, baby. Right here. I love it. What do you like? What do you like so far that you've seen, Bill? That uh, you've seen that you really enjoy, like boat wise? So I like features about boats, not like whole boats. So like Scout, if you fish, right? Okay. You have a cooler on the boat. Sometimes you either got to pull it out. Okay. Or you try. Wait, hold on a second. You got to pull it out? You got to slide <laughs> the cooler out. Okay. So they have a, con uh, a new configuration where the, the cooler's in place. There's a space for you to open the lid. It sticks on a magnet to the top and there's a light underneath. Boom. Boom. What boat is that? Uh, Scout 260. Hold I'm, I'm going to check it out. One. Guys, the boat Scout show. Located. We're on the water. We're day in the water. So what's your favorite Chicho moment? The boat landing. And, nope. and, and, uh, and when it, somebody really does something stupid. You, 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 and you put it on them pretty good. Ah, I lay it <laughs> thick. I love it. Well, thank you so much for watching. Okay, we enjoy So it. South Carolina, oh, I love your city. Yeah, we love you too. Let, let them know that. And Derek on the water. Oh, we're going to do some uh, cooking with him soon. Okay. All right, guys. Charleston, South Carolina. Sea Chaser. It's awesome. It's so cool. This is the first day, guys. This is the first day. I'm not even live. Can you imagine if I were live? Yeah, I had to do this video today. The, the boat shows are getting kind of wilder and wilder. Uh, and I guess I love it. Trust me, I do. I really do love it. Sea Chaser. What do we got price point here? 308. 308. What do you guys think? Let's see. Hold on. I like this. 
We're getting close to the end, my friends. The door is coming to us. Um, we have some, uh, these are nice. It's Carolina Skiff. Oh, this is nice. What do we got here? Nice skiff. I like, I likes a lot. I love the beam of it. Small boat, big beam. I like that. Stable fish. More Carolina skiffs over here. This is a Carolina skiff 24. For 74,860 guys, under 100K. Who says there's not boat that are under 100K here? Look at this. Ooh, that non skid is thick. You can run on those gunnels too. All right, this is 68K. I like this. All right, let's go walk over here. There's a booth that I wanted you guys to see. We got Skeeter coming up. Nice looking boats. Two guys, I, I think I have the strongest shoulders in all of Miami. It doesn't look it that way, but trust me, holding this gimbal as long as I do, I don't know. Hughes in the house and Pathfinder. Captain Chris in the house. With a Pathfinder over here coming out of Black Point. Is Chris coming out of Black Point? Pathfinder has some good boats. They're nice and solid. This is, I think, the one that he has. A 2300. Is it a 23 or a 22? I, come, I had him coming out of haul over one day. Hauling ass. And I knew he was going to get ripped. And sure enough, bro, that boat took it like nothing. And you know, haulovers, no joke. Nice looking boat, guys. They make some good boats over there. We got Cobia. Last show that we did, we did a pretty thorough walkthrough of the Cobia booth. The last Miami show. But I want to... Look, these are cool boats, too. The reef runner. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, there he is. There he is. You ready? For what? For the interview, bro. We're gonna. I mean, you're out here doing the behind. Now you're gonna be in front of the camera. Why you wanna put me in front of the camera? What do you wanna ask me? I mean, what don't we wanna ask? Where's Alfonso? He's studying you right now. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second, because I haven't signed anything yet. Sign away. Wait Sign a second. Away. Wait a second. Athletic Marines got a podcast going on here at the Miami Show. Wait a second. That's right. You know what? I'm gonna have a special guest on Friday, and his name is Fred the Croc. Fred the Croc. Uh, Fred the Croc's gonna come. And well, you you, you know we work in tandem, so that means I'm here too. All right. Man. We'll see you here. How you doing? How's the show going? Good, man. A lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Have you taken a walk? Not yet. Yeah. I like the little uh, landing marine hats. Yeah. I heard there's a little uh, surprise that you there might... might be a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fred might be here signing autographs. I don't know. What? Yeah, I, I might have gone to Black Point and got a signature from Fred the Croc. Yeah, I don't know. He's doing side jobs or something. I didn't hear about that oh. part. Oh! 
we're gonna have to talk. Guys, um, Atlantic Marine, uh, stock of Suzuki's, we Yamaha's, what do you have? Yamaha everything in stock, we have some boats in stock. Uh, logistically, everything is moving a lot faster now. And you guys are boats making trailers. Running. We're making trailers, Atlantic Marine trailers. Yes. yes. Moises is running that operation. Mo, and I did a video with Moses. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes, you did. You know Mo very well. Yes. Well, we'll, we'll talk We'll talk on Friday. We better. Stay tuned. We better. Wait for, nah, no, no, listen, listen, I got it. A landing marine here in the house, guys. Hey, guys. That is awesome. Uh, yes. So they want to sit down and, uh, I don't know, shoot the, shoot the chit, like they say. All right. Um, uh, guys, I see burgers and I, I hold on. I got to I got to get something to eat. Come on. I deserve I deserve something to eat. All right. Uh, arepa. Está buenísimo eso. Quiero 10. ¿Quieres 10? No. Le doy la caja. Mira, I got from Mother Seat, guys. I have to take a break too, bro. Wait for it. Guys, those arepas were amazing. But I have to, guys, I have to continue because we're almost to the end of the road, like they say, to the end of the road. But I did want to show you guys the majority of the boat show. And I know, I guess I can't get to everybody and, you know, sometimes we miss certain things, right? But uh, I do think I will connect this video to the other video when we're outdoors because there's an outdoor portion of this video as well so stay tuned for that and stay tuned for any dedicated videos keep in mind i got a lot of other videos as well we're not done i'm not i'm not saying goodbye i'm just saying good riddance look at this wow bringing it back oh my goodness what is this wow sick I don't know. You think that's a uh, Mercury for your ass or what? Damn, they took it back old school for real. That must be a cool uh, tour over there at uh, watching. Uh, I do think they have. Uh, I do think they got some something over there in Wisconsin that they can show you guys. All right. So technically, when you come in to the show, you're going to be coming in through here. So my my recommendation is go to Alfonso Marine, uh, Atlantic Marine, bother Alfonso and Matt and uh, wait, wait, there was another one that I wanted you guys to see. Where was it? It was here. It was here. It's this one. It's this, this is it. This is what you're going to get hit with guys in the beginning of the show. You walk in and you see this right here. I know, I know I'm the first one out guys with this content, but this is absolutely sick to say the least. Oh my goodness, wow. What an absolute monster of a boat. Pavati. No, it's a Pavati. Are they built in the back No, this, this guy sorry, did, sorry, sorry, no, sorry. So it's okay. He just said, it says Pavati everywhere. He said, it says Pavati everywhere. I'm filming this. I mean, how does that guy not get punched in the throat right now? Right, exactly. This is a Pavati. That's right. Is it build the master plan? No. It's it says Pacific, pa Pacific Northwest. I, actually, I just came from the Pacific. Where? where? I just came from the Pacific Northwest. Where exactly are they making them? You're doing the shit show. That's me. <laughs> yes. I love it. Thank you. So do you work here? Yes. So you know anything about this boat? Yes. You know what I want to do? What? I want to put you with the manufacturer. Are they here? Yeah. He's here. Check Gross. This looks yeah, amazing. I was looking for so I just came from the Seattle Boat Show. Okay. Yeah, and that's Pacific Northwest. That's where they're at. And th this is where they make this? I don't care, whoever wants to show it. Let me call Chuck, he was right here. Toby. tell these stories. And he's still, he's still giving him time. Yeah, he's telling him, hey, listen, this is a Pavati, dude. You gotta charge more now. You gotta charge, you gotta charge more. And nothing against the other company, but you, you do just don't do that. That's like, can I give a... It's, it's like at 10 percent at least yeah at least at least all right guys hey we're having a chicho here on uh, on your booth are you okay with that absolutely okay Let's thank you 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I love this. So, um, Jack Rice Jr. did his Roush performance. So I'll okay. him. We also have Ford Motor Company, and then I'll get Chuck Rose. Ford, I mean, how many people had, are involved in this? Do this I have to make this my the thumbnail? Pinnacle of performance. Pinnacle. This is like the shit. Chit show. This is like the chit, chit of the show. Of the show. <laughs> this is the chit of the show. I, you know what? You're doing very good on this. So, okay. We uh, have a collaboration. Okay, with three companies? Three powerhouse brands. You have Ford Motor Company. Ford. You have Roush Performance. Which is huge. You have Inmar. Inmar. Which is the engine manufacturer. Uh -huh. You have Ford. And then you have the body boats. This is the chit of the show. Of the show. I love you. Ah, that is... <laughs> This is gonna be my thumbnail, guys. It is, it is absolutely. I have to take off my shoes to go on here, right? Yes. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take off my shoes real quick because this is, this is easily worth it. Let's go see what's going on here. Wave. All right, um, welcome aboard this amazing boat, guys. Wow, it's got a fireplace. Oh my goodness. Okay, so every now and then you see some next level stuff, guys. This is, this is that next level boat. This is, this is kind of boat that you just flex, right? You just want to flex, um, this is it. Wow, what a flex, dude. This is absolutely sick. Oh man, look at all, look at all the details. No, no, you just, it's just hard to, it's hard to do. This thing is, this, brother, there's, there's, what's the word that's beyond sick? Filthy. Insane. Filthy sick. Filthy sick. Yeah, this is filthy sick. Too sick. Too sick. Wow. What, what Hill city, Manny. what city in the Northwest Pacific? Oregon. North, in Oregon. Southern Oregon. So, yep. so, Man, you guys knocked it out of the park, dude. A lot of Con work, a lot of time let, to build the whole thing in house. So let the, the team, in let the team know that they killed it. Oh, I will, man. man there's a lot, the, of, a lot of sweat and tears going into this. Oh, place. listen, man, you see it. Guys, Pavati has done it. Thank you so much, bro. Wow. All right, let me go up. Sidebar on there, make sure you see the sidebar. It's labeled whiskey and stuff right here. Right on the side, if you look down there, it's labeled whiskey, tequila, pour your own drink. The drawer pulls out so you can put your phone and keys in it. Right there. You, you want to jump up here? Out. Come, come, come up here. Guys, come over here. This is this is all unscripted. This is all unscripted. This is why we do this. All right. Okay, so introduce yourself real quick so they know who you are. All right, my name's Obadiah Hansen. I'm with Pavati. We're out of uh, White City, Oregon. Build the first all aluminum wakeboarding surfing boat. Okay, so let's do a quick walkthrough of this monster. Okay. Okay, guys. This is what we call our AL26. So it's a 26 foot all aluminum again, no fiberglass. We uh, got a lot, a lot of features on this boat to misters on a hot day. Wait, wait, wait. This is a mister with. These are misters, yep. You got your individual screens that you can change the songs and do everything you want. We uh, got heated and chilled cup holders throughout the boat. There's heated the and chilled? There's the chilled, there's the hot. Keep your drink warm or cool, depending on where you're at when you're boating. Um, all your seats are heated throughout on the boat. Your captain's chair is heated and cooled. So keep you cool or warm. We've got wireless phone charging throughout the boat. It's in the front by the captain's chairs. Right here. 22 inch Garmin screen. We're the only ones with that big of a screen in a, in a wakeboarding boat. I smell the wood, by the way. I okay. smell that. You smell the wood. Uh, we've got more storage than any other boat out there. This, uh, this is all storage. We've got toy boats and stuff in there, but everything just flows through. Nice. All the compartments are LED lit. So she was telling me that no. there is four different collaborations with four different companies that you guys have on this particular boat. Uh, yes, we're doing Gator Step is what, who we buy the, the flooring. Anmar, who we get our engines from. 
Uh, Ford Roush. Ford Roush, but we also do LS Motors. Okay. So, which is another company. Um, on on another boat, on another Pavati, but on on, on this boat. one. On this one is Ford and Roush. And yes. We only did it for uh, for this show. So yeah. For them. Is this boat available for sale? This boat is available for sale. Oh um, my goodness! This is for price. Of this is five hundred and thirty thousand for the show. This um, is a toy. Coming. This is a toy yeah, for yeah. whoever's gonna buy this. It's this coming. is a flex boat. I just said that there's somebody's gonna buy this because they just want to flex. They want to flex on you, and they pull up on you. We put drawers in there so you can keep your phone, you know, your keys and everything in there. Lock it up. Like I said, it's got a sidebar on here labeled whiskey, vodka. You just pour your drink. Wait a second. Wait, wait. Right here. So it's called a sidebar. You got it labeled right here. Whiskey, vodka, scotch, gin, rum. And you just put your drink down here, press it. Yeah, it everybody but the captain, right? Everybody but the captain. Everybody That's but why the... we put Gatorade in there, but we put, you put your alcohol and Yeti bottles. It's all plumbed, ready to rock and roll. Dude, am I really filming this right now? <laughs> is this uh, really happening? Ice chest, it's chill. And this is all aluminum. All aluminum. No fiberglass. 15 inch sub down below. What's that? All wet what's... sounds. Uh, marine grade speakers is who we use. Got a 15 inch sub there, a 12 there. Uh, is that the logo yeah. there? Is that the logo down there with, where it says AL? Yeah, What's... AL, that's our AL logo and then our 26, or so it's this... aluminum, means aluminum. Okay, the, okay, so that means aluminum. Yep, so do AL you guys make aluminum. fiberglass boats nope, as well? Nope, all or you just want people to know it's aluminum? Yeah, we're the only ones in the world that yeah. make a V-drive wakeboarding boat. So, boat so tell me about the bow. Like this, this, this up here is so like, it's, it's like, this is sick. Luxury edition, you know, it's family. You want, you want to be able to lounge and lay and we also, have the most storage in every boat, so everything here. We've got a screen in the bow, and that's storage. Put your anchor, buoys. That's just not enough storage. There's more. So you step right here. Oh. Good. Oh yeah. More storage. More storage. And again, chilled cup holders, eight-inch uh, speakers, wet sounds. If that's not enough storage, we got more. Dude, I, I just, he just says more and more and more. So some guys will put either fat sacks or extra weight in here. And, uh, I saw there's an on and off switch there. Or fin it. Yeah, that's where our, our automatic, and it's all remote. So okay. It's all keyless. All keyless. So it's keyless. We can run it off your phone as well with the Garmin app. So you can start this boat from your phone. Absolutely amazing. Okay. It has a bow and stern thruster, so we're the only one in the industry to do a bow thruster. Other guys have done the, the stern thruster on the back, but here's our joysticks right here. So you can, it has a hold feature. You just turn, turn it on, and then the boat will hold itself at the dock. Okay. And then you get out and tie up. Question. Yes, sir. Are you guys, do you have a market for this, for these type of boats on in South Florida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. Yeah, we've got, okay. We've got, yep, yep. So explain, okay, so I want to go wakeboarding right now. This, w tell me that side of this. What can this do as far as the waves and all that stuff that it, it makes? It, tell it, me it that compares, process. It, the, the way that this puts out, we compare it and think it's bigger and better than any boat out there, but everybody has their opinion. It's a very steep and pushy wave. And okay. It's adjustable, so. Everything's adjustable on the fly. Our ballast tanks fill up in 90 seconds and empty in 90 seconds. So it's a flood system. Um, so that's really nice. Um, I, and I, you're talking Chinese to me, but yeah, the yeah. people who are interested are gonna know what you're talking about. Yeah, and that's just, that's the water going into the ballast tanks. Oh. And it's a, it's a gates to open up and allow the water to fill into the ballast. So when you're surfing and, and creating your wake, or wakeboarding, so. Um, Assuming you're not doing any wake, wakeboarding or anything, how fast is this boat going? This boat is propped for about 40 miles an hour. Four, um, 40 yeah, miles an hour. Yeah, I mean, you can prop it and go a little faster, but this is geared, the boat is geared and built to surf and wakeboard. So it's not, it's not made to go like a speed boat. So. You can put a ton of people on this. Uh oh. Yeah, this is yacht certified. So this is a 26 footer. Um, which is uh -oh, no, we got, pass, no passenger rating on that. We got a guest coming up here. Jack Rouse Jr. and the owner, Chuck Gross. So Jack Rouse Jr. is uh, Roush Ford. Drag racing so. how, how did I stumble ac across this amazing boat here at the Miami Boat Show? Wow, I am blown away. 
So he's showing me the boat. Can you guys introduce yourselves real quick so they know? Uh, my name is Alfred Montaner with, uh, uh, I'm on YouTube. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm Chuck with uh, Pavati Boats. Okay. Is that enough? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, tell, tell, tell me what happened, the thought process. I mean, you have something amazing. Your team in Oregon did like such a fantastic job. Tell me the collaboration, because she was telling me down there, there's a collaboration of multiple companies that wanted to build something amazing, and it's, it shows right now. I'm filming it, and this thing is breathtaking. It's the first thing you see when you come here to the show. So tell me, how do you get this collaboration to happen? How much sweat and tears along the way? How long did it take? So those are things that people are really gonna wanna know. Okay. So I know it's a lot, go ahead, take your breath. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a 2023 20, Pavati L26. It's uh, got an Inmore, Inmore motor. Yeah. And uh, I guess you probably can't say that, right? <laughs> Not a, no, it doesn't matter. Listen, okay. it doesn't matter. You're uh, good. Yeah, just, this just, is, this just, is a, this a conversation. Yeah, okay. Well, we're in a, in a brand new 2023 AL26 Pavati. Mm -hmm. And it's got an Inmar motor on it. It's got a, it's got a Roush supercharger. And you know, we put built this boat specifically for this show. And there's all the boxes were checked. It's got one in the world. Yeah, one of one. One of one. Yeah, it's the first time. And I, I mean, I'm hoping we do another one someday, but this thing is badass. It shows. Yeah. So, are you with Roush? Uh, you can say that. I can say <laughs> yeah. that. I'm, I'm, I'm walking on egg, eggs yeah, here. Okay, so, so what, what, how did you help in the process? Uh, I'm Jack Roush Jr. Okay. Uh, and I work at the performance side of our business. Mm -hmm. We've been partners uh, with uh, Inmar, exclusive partners in the marine space for many years now. and. Uh, uh, had the chance to be part of this project. Uh, really proud to have our name on this amazing boat. How did how did that was this like a hey let's all go have a drink and let's do something cool? How did that evolve? Like this whole <laughs> well we use Inmar and Roush anyways. I mean okay. that's our standard that's the standard motor. We only use the best stuff. So okay. it was natural for all of us to come together and build a boat as a team for this, you know, one of the biggest boat shows in the United States. This is huge. Yeah. This is This is going to be my thumbnail, by the way. This boat's going to be my thumbnail for the Miami show. I just walked, all the girls. listen, I do, <laughs> but listen, listen. So, 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 someone's more comfortable in front of the camera now, right? Okay. All right. So, uh, okay, 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 but listen, it is, it's the very first boat that you're going to get. And when you come in, I just did a, a full walkthrough of the entire show. I do this every year. And then I'm ending the show at the end, where we're at the beginning. So I did the show backwards. And this is the first thing they're gonna see and the last thing they're gonna see as well before I walk and go home. But I'll tell you, huge, huge accomplishment for you guys. Um, I know this is gonna sell because it's a one of one You're not gonna see something else like this again and it's available. <laughs> How would they call you guys if they want it? Um, Pavati.com, you know, just search for it. We're not that hard to find. You you think it'll sell at this show? I think it's already sold, but... Oh no! The dagger in the Corazon, guys! It depends on whose money comes in first. You know, it's a okay. race right now. Alright guys, it's a race. Yeah. But listen, um, maybe somebody has Bitcoin and they'll throw... <laughs> hey, maybe, at this show, somebody's walking around with an Amex. But, yeah, uh, the, yes. They'll swipe. They'll swipe yes. Alright guys, congratulations on the bilge. Guys, I, I'm gonna continue down there. Thank you so much for, for doing that. And check out Alfred Monte and check out the Chit Show. If you haven't seen the Chit Show, there it is. And look, the, she started it all. <laughs> all right. She was like, come over here. I watch your channel. That is awesome, guys. All right, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna walk out. No? Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. You're like... You, you, you. Have more chip for you. More. Okay. So, uh, we're talking about the 360 degree view. Okay. So we got 360 access to the engine. Uh, why does why do why do you why do you have to highlight this and not them? I just <laughs> did this not excite you guys? This is so exciting. I know. Did you I, see the surf screen too? For the uh, surfers? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. I love this. Look at this, guys. So you. And you should see the view from the top too. You might be able to see it if you look like over. Like yeah, you gotta get back on top. Looks 
like you got her. Yeah. Guys, you guys hit it out of the park. I love this. Guys, Pavati in the house. What's your name? Go ahead and introduce yourself so they know who exactly who you are and you, that you stole the show. Go ahead. <laughs> No wonder, no wonder. <laughs> it's always the marketing the people. people. <laughs> I love that. Guys, we're out of here. Let's go outside. We're going to continue here in the Miami boat show. I got to put my shoes on. I'll be right back. We're going to continue out there. Let's go. All right. Wow. All right. So as we come in to the show, because that's what's going to happen now, guys. You guys are going to walk in. You're gonna see that, but there's some boats out here that I want you to see as well. And if you guys have not been to our Miami Beach Convention Center, this is the Miami Beach Convention Center down here in South Florida. So it's huge, to say the least. And um, you have some boats. I think you have a big pool out here for like outdoor, uh, water rides and, and I think they also have a big bar back here as well Which well, we won't be doing none of that right now, but I do, I do want to let you guys know that it's here so you guys can see it here and it's And welcome to Miami guys, I know I know you guys are probably thinking It's so blue the skies are blue and they're all wearing t-shirts All right, so this is kind of like what you're going to see when you come in, when you first come. And then mind you, there's a shuttle, there's a shuttle that's going to take you from here to um, One Herald Plaza where the boats that are on the water are. I'm going to film that some other day, but see there's outdoor seating out here for food. You got some food trucks and stuff and some areas to get some food. So keep that in mind. And you got some yellow fins here in the entrance. Well, there was a glitch in the matrix there, guys. I don't know what the hell just happened, but I'm continuing back outside here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what just happened there. But look, yellow fin in the house. Obviously, huge, huge. Look at this. 42 offshore, let's go ahead and do it quick. We're not gonna get on it, guys. But, absolute awesome show. I Guys, I wanna thank you guys for watching my channel. Now, now we're done. Um, and this is the end of the show. So listen, I do wanna thank you guys for you want to support me, you watch my channel, you like my channel, buy this hat, Chicho hat. Thank you. Um, LuxuryRibTenders.com. Wrong, wrong, uh, wrong side, wrong side over here, guys. <laughs> LuxuryRibTenders.com. And <laughs> wait for it. Happy Mother to making a scene as always. I got to go to the other side now, to the water. So stay tuned for that video. And check out my other uh, footage from Seattle. I'm going to hit him.